This is Eve Valkyrie, multiplayer combat with a 360 degree view of deep space from your cockpit. It's unlike any other video game you've ever played, and today we're going to show you how you can bring experiences like this into your own home for a lot less money than you think. What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Today we're going to be working on an affordable VR ready rig. With VR headsets costing as much as they do these days, building a gaming rig capable of VR without breaking the bank sometimes can be a challenge. But that's exactly what we're gonna show you today. But first, Reza, what makes a great VR experience? VR technology today is a lot more immersive and comfortable than it's been in the past. While your headset has the capability to implement head tracking and positional tracking, mm -hmm. your PC needs to be capable of rendering two display feeds, one for each eye, so that you experience minimum latency and none of that jitter and motion blur that can make you nauseous. Yeah, no, I, I get motion sick, so I know that firsthand. You won't with this rig. Okay, I'm excited. So let's take a quick look at what VR headset developers are recommending for a minimum spec for a consistently good VR experience. It's quite likely that the rig you're using today already exceeds the minimum spec. In fact, a lot of folks may only need to upgrade their video cards to a GeForce 970 or above. But if you do choose to build a PC from the ground up, we've handpicked a bunch of components for their affordability and performance. So the min spec for uh, VR headsets is a 4590. So that's what we have here. And I'm gonna put it in the motherboard with the stock cooler that comes with it. Now keep in mind that this specific motherboard is equipped with USB 3.0 ports. But if you're not building your own system from scratch and you do not have USB 3.0 ports, you can find USB 3.0 add-on cards cheaply online. Here's a RAM that we're gonna use. Eight gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance DDR3. You probably already have more than this running in your rig already. All right, and for the case, we're gonna be using the Corsair Air 240. A feature about this case that we like is that it comes with two front USB 3.0 ports. When Reza is done installing the motherboard, I'm going to install the EVGA 500 watt power supply, which is the minimum spec for the GeForce GTX 970. For this build, we're using a Western Digital one terabyte drive. Although we'd like to be using an SSD, this one is much cheaper and it'll hold more games. All right, let's throw it in. This is your GTX 970 graphics card, where all the heavy lifting for VR is done. If you're gonna upgrade one thing in your computer, getting a better graphics card is gonna have the most impact for VR gaming. All right, and now that that's done, how about we go play some Eve Valkyrie? Let's do it. Right, we're ready to deploy. Launching in three, two, So there you have it. Not only enough performance for an $800 rig, but enough headroom for even the most insane dog fights. Isn't that right, Reza? He's busy. Now that you got a good idea of what steps you need to take to get into virtual reality, head on over to geforce.com slash VR to learn more. And if you want to see more GeForce Garage, go ahead and click right here. Right here. I'm done. Go see the video. I'm in one of them, one other one. Go see that one.